Hello guys, I hope this video finds you well. Guys, I've got good news. Good news for all Nigerians worldwide. Peter Obi get back his mandate. Guys, see, eh, I'm, I'm, yesterday I was terribly upset, but today I'm full of joy. I want to show you a video you've got to watch. You've got to watch this video. The video is worth it. See, I was one of those who said that uh, Peter will be, you know, should he proceed to, as a, nothing was going to come back. I said nothing was going to come back from Supreme Court. I was the one, one of those that said it on my videos. Nothing is going to come back that Pitinubu has bought all of them over. I said it time without number. But guys, uh, hey, Peter will be get back his mandate to, before I proceed, let me ask you a question. Ask yourself, why did Tinubu, why did he send his boys to go abroad as a pre-court? Okay, now, let me also add this. Remember Adeleke, Governor Adeleke, his election was upturned by Tribuna, right? He got back his mandate as a Supreme Court. Please, this video, I believe, I want to show you now. I believe it's the best video you're going to watch today on social media. But please, before we, if I show you the video right now, give this video a thumbs up. Share it in all the platforms you belong, all the groups, please. Share this video now. It's worth it. Once again, congratulations. Please, one more thing, guys. Can you please go to youtube that search me at as it is on facebook so it is on youtube holy ghost on facebook holy ghost on youtube should anything happen to the page facebook page you should be able to catch up my update on youtube all right just follow me search it out and follow me there thanks and god bless you let's watch the video now election held in nigeria and uh, according to peter obi he won the election by 8.7 million votes okay so Peter B is, is telling the Supreme Court, look, the Samani, Haruna Samani led panel, eh, the law, when they dismiss his claim that he won the 2023 presidential election with about 8.7 million votes. Of course, you and I know that from the record by the Independent National Electoral Commission, which they declared on March 1st, as I said in the introduction, controversially, they showed that uh, Aswad Bola Metinubu, the presidential candidate of the Labour of the of the All Progressive Congress, scored 8,794,726 votes, with which he was declared the winner by the Independent National Electoral Commission. While Atiku Abaka of the PDP and Peter will be of the Labour Party, according to the INEC record, that record is still controversial because as I talk to you right now, INEC has refused to upload all the results of the presidential election to their IRE several months after the election. Now, Obi has given the figure to show how he, that he won. Because they were saying that he couldn't show figures, he should show how he won the election in their dismissal of his petition. Now, Obi, as you and I know, he, he petitioned the presidential election petition court for redress while presenting over 10 witnesses. In fact, he presented about 13 witnesses. Presented 13 witnesses. The, uh, the presidential election petition court, in a controversial circumstance, dismissed and cancelled 13, 10 of these, these uh, witnesses that were so vital to their prayers and made mess of their prayers because when they cancelled those witnesses, they rendered his claims important. So that is why the Supreme Court. It will be studying the Supreme Court to look at the way that the start that court dismisses witnesses. Now, and uh, it will be saying that he brought witnesses to show how he won and they dismissed it. Now, among the witnesses that he brought, he is now telling the Supreme Court he is a professor of mathematics at the Nambia City where he first occurred. Okay. And Ambra State. That's Professor Al Eric Owadiego of Edu. 
who submitted his expert report on the election. Now, the professor had told the panel that 18,088 polling units, 18,088 polling unit results uploaded by the Independent National Electoral Commission staff to the INEC result viewing portal, that's IREF, we are blood. You know, if you had followed my this channel, you know that I have continuously made reference to this figure to show that Tinubu could not have won the election if this figure is taken into consideration. This 18,088 polling unit result that we are blood. Because if you subtract this blood result from Tinubu's result, there is no way he could have majority of votes cast in the election to be declared the winner of the election. But I neg ignored this, this fact and announced him as the winner of the election. So it will be his petition to the presidential election, uh, to, the, to the Supreme Court now. His appeal to the, to the, to the Supreme Court is drawing attention to this fact that the professor had told the panel that 18,088 polling unit results uploaded by INEC staff to the INEC result viewing portal were blocked and they allegedly short changed obese scores by additional 2 million 565,269 accredited votes aside the issues of overvoting. You know, this professor of uh, mathematics was able to show that that blood results, which was 18,088, contain about 2.5 million votes, which was allocated to Aswad Bola Metinibu, with that blood result that nobody can read what was inside. And if you subtract that 2.5 million votes from this blood result, from Tinubu's 8.7 million votes, his number will drop down to 6.2 million votes. Tinubu will no longer have majority of the vote cast in the election. But that is what, not what this presidential election petition court wants. So they deliberately sideline that aspect of this petition. Because they don't want to bring any question to the figure that I need to use in declaring uh, Tinubu as the winner of the election. Now, people will still continuing to talk about the importance of this discovery because this 18,088 blood result was not generated by Peter Obi on his own or the, or the professor. The professor downloaded it from the uploaded results of the Independent National Electoral Commission by the staff of INEC. He meticulously picked those blood results, 18,088, but they dismiss it. That you cannot generate, that you can't collect results from the IRIF to show your claim. Whereas I have shown you video of uh, the former, pre former president of the Senate, Ahmad Lawa, who superintended over the, uh, the, the, the legislation for the Electoral Act 2022, who said that that result in the IRIF is the parameter that is used to assess any dispute in the election. Because he, the Electoral Act was saying that if there is a dispute between the results carried by any of the political parties, the benchmark will be to compare it with what is in the Arif. What is in the Arif is like the final arbiter. Whatever is in the Arif is authentic. Whatever anybody is carrying. Because you know that in the election, at the polling unit, the result is shared among political parties and stakeholders. Now, if there is a dispute over the figure that was carried by these different political parties, you go and compare it with what is in the IRF. Now, the presidential election petition court is claiming that that is not a collection center. It is not a collection medium. So you cannot use it now 
to portray or to show your own argument, which is a very strange something that we do we want the Supreme Court to look into this matter. Now, according to the professor who did this tabulation, over voting checks on the 2023 presidential election show that 4,457 pulling units with a total of 2,317,129 PVCs collected were affected. Adding that the figure exceeds the margin of lead of 1,807,206 votes over the first runner declared over the first runner declared by the independent national electoral commission that is Atiku Abubakar. Now this professor continuing and uh, Peter B in his presentation to the Supreme Court said that from the Irish Potter from the Irish Potter that's INEC Irish Potter 80,088 pulling unit results were blood. This number of pulling units negatively impacted the votes of 2,565,269 accredited voters and 9,165,191 voters that collected their PVCs. That is what the professor has taken his time to calculate and he presented this matter to the presidential election petition court that dismissed his, his witness just cancelled him out for no genuine reason now peter is saying the supreme court should look at the evidence that this professor gathered as a star witness to show how he himself won the election 